Chair recognizes Councilwoman Keona Sanchez. Thank you, Council President. Next Wednesday, we have our annual council briefing with um, the um, Utilities Emergency Fund. It's very important, uh, particularly as uh, in June, we kick off our new TAP water affordability bill um, legislated through this body. Uh, I wanted this morning to talk a little bit about, I know, the, the apprehension that exists in the air around this whole sanctuary cities um, discussion. And on Monday and Tuesday, I was in New York with leaders from over 30 cities um, in a conference hosted by Local Progress, which was founded by our esteemed uh, council member, Councilman Good, and uh, now Councilwoman Gim serves as the vice president. It's always um, very gratifying to sit in a room of very intelligent, progressive um, folks who really do care about protecting and defending our Constitution and, and the law. Um, it is really important that we understand the national role that Philadelphia plays in this debate since we, the Constitution was written here and this country was founded in this city. Understanding our Tenth Amendment rights and our Fourth Amendment rights uh, of, of individuals is hugely important. And for this reason, you know, I want to publicly thank the mayor for proactively seeking legal counsel to research and prepare the city to defend ourselves from what's going on in Harrisburg and what's going on in Washington. Um, we will continue to strongly advocate for legislative and regulatory measures um, that really do create a safe city. So Muni ID and Municipal ID and other programs that, that really help make our, our city safer. You know, despite the national rhetoric, um, data has confirmed to us what we all know. Um, sanctuary cities are safer. Let me repeat that. Sanctuary cities are safer. And they're cities that promote more economic growth, particularly from our uh, immigrant communities and neighborhoods. Despite the national rhetoric, the law is on our side. Let me repeat that. Despite the national rhetoric, the law is on our side. We're going to continue, as we always have, gone to the federal courts to protect and uphold our laws. Um, and we're seeing, and we're watching it all over the country as cities go and begin their suit against the federal government um, actions. I understand as legislators we have a fiduciary responsibility to the city, but as leaders we have a greater responsibility when we take the pledge and our oath of office to uphold our laws and our constitution, and in Philadelphia our charter. There is a reason why government doesn't negotiate with terrorists or bullies. Because the minute you engage them in a compromise, you give the, their positions credence. There is no compromising when we seek to protect the laws and we seek to protect unduly targeted people. I have repeatedly stated in these chambers that we are on the right side of history when it comes to this. And for that reason, I thank my colleagues for their continued support and diligence around how do we govern and how do we protect the laws. I, along with Councilwoman Gim and anyone else who's interested, do want to organize a briefing for our council and our staff um, to look at what's going on across the country. We saw yesterday Seattle file a federal lawsuit um, in court. We have a very capable social justice legal community in the city of Philadelphia. And what we need to talk about is how do we arm them with the resources so they can continue to protect our residents and uphold the law. We need to continue to support our mayor and our uh, immigrant community advocates as we proactively develop strategies with what, for what we all know is a different world. Um, some of us sometimes feel we're in the middle of a reality TV series. Um, just yesterday, the AFT and the PFT sponsored a, a resource forum for parents and teachers about what, knowing their rights and what we do um, in our schools. It's not easy to be leaders during tough times. I've always um, been proud of the work we've done in this council and how thoughtful we have been um, as we try to protect and defend the laws that we've taken a solemn oath uh, uh, to protect. We need to send a strong message 
and know that we're not alone across the country um, in defending our Constitution. Uh, so thank you very much, Council President, for always supporting that kind of work. I look forward to, again, providing my council colleagues with, with real data. I know facts sometimes don't matter in this new world, but facts do matter, and the data is on our side, and the law is on our side, and we have a responsibility to just be as prepared as possible um, uh, to fight back what is a very mean-spirited uh, debate, and, you know, people have a good way of creating chaos. Chaos unnerves people um, and creates a scenario uh, that bullies enjoy, which is um, scaring people. As leaders, we have uh, the obligation to let folks know that we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Council.